so you've come to learn about how to make your own Discord bot. Well, I'll tell you right now that the journey from the initial concept of your bot to then seeing it in action on your server is incredibly satisfying. This guide will take you step by step towards creating your very own bot. So, are you ready to go on a bot adventure? Hi, how are you? We hope you're having a great day. This is the one and only Tech Factuala reminding you to stay techy. In this channel, we bring you fantastic and informative news about the world of technology. We update you about the world's electronics, tech advancements, and more. So please stay tuned. In this video, we will teach you how to create a Discord bot. Before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. It would also be nice if you could give this video a like and share it with your friends. To understand a Discord bot, you should first learn what Discord is and why we need to create a bot. So, let's get started with some basics. Created in 2015, Discord is an all-in-one voice and text chat platform for gamers that is completely free, secure, and works on computers, smartphones, laptops, and tablets. Discord now has more than 150 million monthly active users. Therefore, you won't have to pay for TeamSpeak servers or have to deal with Skype. Instead, you can make your life easier with Discord. So, you might be wondering, is Discord more than just a simple chat application? The answer is yes! It is much more than a basic texting application. It's a platform where users may create communities, groups, and anything else that can be done in a group setting. In addition, other users can be contacted via message, voice, or video chat. So, what are Discord bots? A Discord bot is a kind of human robot that can only be used and run on the Discord platform. In short, bots are artificial intelligence, or AI, technologies that marketers can use to automate various tasks. Bots can welcome new members, monitor chats, and even expel users who violate the rules. This helps in the creation and maintenance of a thriving online community. Through using bots, music, games, and memes can all be added to your server. That being said, it's essential to understand which bots to use. There are multiple kinds, each with its own set of attributes. Some bots enhance the user experience and create a more engaged community. However, some bots could create a less user-friendly environment. This could end up turning users away. The right bots for your server depends on your business and your marketing goals. It is very important to do your research and find what works best for you and your target community. So guys, we've covered the basics of Discord bots, now we're moving towards a more critical part. After watching this part, you'll have a clear path forward to creating your own bot. How to make a Discord bot There are 7 easy steps to follow if you want to create your own bot. Step 1. Log into the Discord Developer section of Discord. To start creating a Discord bot, go to Discord Developers and create an application. If you haven't already done so, you'll need to register for an account with them. To create a new application under your developer account, sign into Discord Developers and click the New Applications icon. When you click on New Applications, a screen will appear asking you to give a new application a name. This is the name of your Discord bot, so name it whatever you like. This application name will also be presented as the bot's displayed username, so make sure it's related to the Discord bot's functionality. You will also have the option of setting this bot to private if you wish. Setting a Discord bot to private mode means that only your Discord account will be able to invite it to any server you want it to join, so consider that depending on how you're going to use it. Step 2. Get your Discord bot code. Once you've created your Discord application, you are now ready to get your bot's token and connect it to bot disco. To do so, simply go to the page where you created this new bot and click the copy button next to where you would set your bot's profile picture. Step 3. Sign up for bot disco. Alright, you've created your Discord application, now you are ready to start with Bot Disco. All you have to do is go to botdisco.com and click the Sign Up button at the top of the screen to get started. Step 4. Add your bot to Bot Disco. After you've copied your bot token, all you have to do now is link it to your Bot Disco account. After submitting your bot token to authenticate your identity, you'll be prompted to check in to your Discord developer account. You should be prompted with a success screen once you have verified your Discord account. Before continuing with our list, what do you think about Discord bots so far? Have you ever experienced them? Let us know in the comments below, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Next is Step 5. Configure your Discord bot triggers. You're ready to configure your Discord bot's actions once you've successfully connected it to your Disco bot account. You'll be taken to Disco bot's platform after inputting your bot's token. By clicking the plus symbol next to the event trigger, you can add some predefined triggers to your bot. Bots can do actions when typing a slash command into the chat area of a server to perform a specific type of trigger. To make a custom slash command, go to the predefined event trigger section and select the create your own slash command button. Another feature of Discord bots is identifying the term when a specific keyword is used in a server and doing actions in response to that term. So, simply click the create your own custom word button under the custom slash command section to add a custom word trigger to your Discord bot. 
Step 6. Configure your Discord bot actions. Once you've selected the trigger, you are ready to configure what actions occur after a trigger. An action occurs when something prompts it, much like in real life. So, for example, if you wanted to send a direct message to every new user who joins your server, you might add a trigger to your bot that when a new user joins the channel, it will send that user a specific message. All you have to do to configure the actions after a trigger is click the plus add action button under the trigger you just added. Then, choose what kind of action you want to have happen when this trigger is activated. Step 7. Publish your Discord bot. Congratulations! Your Discord bot will be ready to use once it has been published. All you have to do now is invite your newly created bots to the Discord server where you want it to live and let it do its job according to your settings. Most people are concerned with one question, is Discord safe? Guys, Discord is simple to use and secure with some of the best privacy settings and monitoring. There is no way the Discord server isn't safe if you've done the proper steps in the privacy settings. However, there is always a risk in opening chat rooms and apps. Accepting friend requests and joining private servers with people you know is the safest way to use Discord. Millions of people now use Discord because of its security and excellent customer service. So guys, a Discord bot can make your life a whole lot easier. For example, you can use it for controlling the level of spam on a channel. If someone is spamming your channel, the bot can take control of the situation and erase the spam messages. They can be used to play music. A Discord bot can play music from YouTube or other streaming sites while you're speaking with other players. You can also use it to build webhooks. For example, you can use it to create a webhook for one or more GitHub repositories or a site that supports it. Okay friends, we're coming to the end of today's video. As you can see, a Discord bot can create and do things on your channel, making your life much easier. It has various features and functions, including the ability to play music and share photographs. It can also help you administrate your Discord channel when you are away. Hence, do not waste time with Skype and other chatting platforms and start using a Discord bot. And that's the video! What do you think? We hope that knowing more about Discord bots has sparked your interest. Do you have any questions about Discord bots? Don't hesitate to comment below. Now it's your turn! Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to be updated about new videos. Again, this is the one and only Tech Factuala reminding you to stay techy. Thanks for watching!